Yo, 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 what is going on, my fellow cloners? I come here to show you a mini mock that I have made. Now, as you can tell already that this is a voiceover, but also that this is not a Star Wars planet. In fact, this is on the planet of Mars. That is right, Mars, the fourth planet in our solar system. So right now, I'm just doing a quick um, kind of overview so you could see the terrain and some of the aspects, and then we're going deeper into each thing. But as you see, that the base color of the terrain is a dark tan, and then that there is layered dark orange and medium dark flesh. Now, on actual Mars, it would be more kind of a dark orange rusty color, but I decided to accent more of the dark tan because dark tan is my favorite color in Lego. Now, as we're swooping by, you see we have uh, my hand there in the corner, but uh, we also have a solar panel, some communication devices, a uh, flag, and the overhead shot is going to show us more of the hab and kind of just the side waste containers and all of that. Now, uh, upcoming next, like uh, from what I can see since this is the voiceover, we are going into the solar panels, and this is actually a very different technique than what I was planning on using, just some 1x2x5s. Uh, snotted and just kind of connected and then we have some pipes running along on the side into the building showing that the hab is getting power and then, like I said those are just waste containers that they would put ver various types of waste in now the hab is actually supposed to be cylindrical and kind of like spherical and just, I wasn't able to do that with the limited parts of Legos I had white bricks here you see we have the airlock door opening with a bunch of tech on the inside. Normally an airlock has two doors, but I decided to do this one very fancy since this was to take place in 2035. All right, here is a look at the roof and how modular it is. I kind of like how this roof is. It kind of evens out the studs and tiles. But as you see from the inside, we have various amounts. We have a computer on one side, we have a bunch of instruments, we have the airlock kind of symbol, not symbol, kind of uh, tech in the back, we have some crates in here, and uh, what are these supposed to be doing? I don't know, they're just very scientific-y. Over here we see we have more kind of computers, in the back we have some test tube holders, and here we have kind of plant life, like if the plants can survive in Martian weather, and that uh that computer right there is supposed to simulate Martian weather without actually taking it outside yet because they don't want to kill off all their plants. And there's another look at the airlock door and how it opens. I kind of like how the circular part from the outside looks. The bowed with the um, steering wheel looked quite nice. Here's a look at the, uh, the telecommunications tower. It's basically the one I've been using in all my really sci-fi things. And here is just the techniques I've used on the side, just to show that it is a technical building. And that just about wraps it up after this minifig here is the one from the minifig series. But yeah, that is basically it. So I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And Felucia is out next week. So I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. This is Clone Production Studios, signing off.